Hey everyone, welcome back to The Simple Dad. The Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra just got the new One UI 8.0 update, and with it, it comes a lot of exciting new features and improvements. But after the big update like this, there are a few important things you should do right away. So these steps will not only help your phone run smoother, but also unlock hidden tools, protect your data, and even give you more control over customization. So in today's video, I'll guide you through the first things you should do after updating your Galaxy S25 Ultra. So let's get started. So the first thing which you should do is reset cache after the update. So whenever you install a big software update like One UI 8.0, your phone still keeps old cache files from previous versions. So these leftover files can cause slowness, battery drain, or even little stutters here and there. So the good news is you can fix this easily by clearing the system cache. So don't worry, it doesn't delete your apps or data, it just resets your temporary files so your phone runs clean on the new software. So let me show you how to do this. So first we need to go ahead and enter into recovering mode on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here we'll first go ahead and hold on the power button and the volume down button until your phone switches off. Once your phone switches off, you wanna go ahead and switch over to holding the volume up and the power button. And now I'll go ahead and switch over. Now, once you see the Samsung logo, you wanna go ahead and let go of the power button. And keep holding the volume up. This will now take you into recovery mode. Now you need to go ahead and select wipe system cache. So you're gonna use your volume up and volume down button to go up and down the menu. And now you need to go ahead and select wipe cache partition. Go ahead and enable this. So by tapping the power button, you wanna go ahead and do this, yes. And now that's done. Now you wanna go ahead and reboot your system. So once it's done, restart your phone. You'll notice now smoother performance, less lags and better stability right after the update. So think of this like giving your phone a fresh oil change after a major upgrade. Now the second thing which you should do is you should add home up to your home screen settings. So Samsung's default home screen settings are good, but home up takes it to another level. So here, as you can see, when you look at your home screen settings, you see this new option come up called home up. So home up is part of the Samsung's good lock suite, which you can download from the Galaxy store. Once you install home up, it actually shows up in your home screen settings menu, making customization super simple. So let me show you how to add that button to your home screen customization. So first you need to go ahead and download the GoodLock app. In the GoodLock app, scroll down and find Home Up. Turn this feature on, tap on Home Screen, and make sure to enable this setting here. Use Setting Dialog on Home Screen. So make sure that's turned on, then press Home. Now go ahead and long press on your Home Screen, and you'll see your Home Up customization. So here you can go ahead and change how your app drawer is organized, your grid size, the number of apps per page, and even the background blur. You can create folder layouts that look cleaner and more functional. You can back up and restore your exact home screen setup so you can reset your phone or switch devices so you don't lose your layout. So this is perfect for those who like phone looking and working in a certain way. It saves time and makes your phone feel truly personal. The third thing which you should do is enable secure folder in share menu. So Samsung's secure folder is one of the best privacy tool built into the Galaxy Fold. It lets you lock away apps, photos, and documents with your pin or fingerprint. But after the update on One UI 8.0, the option to share directly into secure folder might not appear in your share menu. So let me show you how to fix it. So here you wanna first go ahead and open up the secure folder app. So search for secure folder. Now go ahead and enter in your pin or maybe your pattern. Now, once you're here, tap on the three dots, then tap on settings, and then tap on other security settings. Now here, you wanna go ahead and find this option called show secure folder in share panel. So go ahead and turn this feature on. So when you go ahead and share something from your gallery, you'll see that secure folder option appear on your share page. So now whenever you share a file, you'll see the option to move it directly into your secure folder. So this makes protecting sensitive files like work documents or private photos super quick. Instead of moving them later, you can secure them instantly. The fourth thing which you should do is turn on predictive back gesture. 
So navigation also got a small but useful improvement with a predictive back gesture like this. So normally when you swipe back, you just hope that you're going to the right screen. So with this feature, you get a little bit of a preview of the screen you're about to return to like this. So if I go ahead and swipe left, I can see that I'm going back to the settings main page. Again, if I go into Galaxy AI and I do that same thing, I can see that I'm going back to the settings main page. So let me show you how to enable this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, first you need to go ahead and change your navigation bar to a swipe gesture. So you'll do that going into settings, go into display, find navigation, and here, switch it over to swipe gesture. Now, after that, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find advanced settings or advanced features, and here find labs, and here you wanna go ahead and find this option called back swipe preview. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So this will show you a preview of the screen you'll go back to when you start swiping from the edge of the screen. Please note, you won't see this option if you have your navigation bar switched on. So this may seem like a small change, but it makes using your phone feel more smoother, more predictable. It's especially handy in apps when the back button can take you to multiple places. So now you'll know exactly where you're going before you lift your finger. The fifth thing which you should do is set up Google Finance on Now Bar. So if you follow the stock market, you will love this one. The Now Bar on your lock screen and always on display can show Google Finance updates. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll first go into settings. You wanna go ahead and scroll down and find lock screen and AOD. Now here you wanna go ahead and find the now bar. From here you wanna go ahead and tap on view more and you wanna find Google Finance and you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on. Go ahead and tap on Google Finance and then go ahead and tap on the settings and you can go ahead and choose what data to display. So now live updates appear on your lock screen. So no need to open apps or check widgets. It's perfect for busy days when you just want a quick glance how your investments are doing. The sixth thing which you should do is you should enable private album in gallery. So Samsung has always given us ways to lock photos, but One UI 8 adds something new. So this is called the private album. So unlike secure folder, this is built right into the gallery app. So let me show you how to turn on private album on your Samsung Galaxy device. So first we need to go ahead and unlock this secret menu called labs. So we'll go ahead and tap on gallery. We'll tap on menu and we'll tap on settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down all the way and you wanna unlock this secret menu called gallery labs. So here you need to go and tap on about, tap multiple times on the version number until you see a message appear saying gallery labs has been enabled. Go back, tap on gallery labs and here you'll see all these new features which you can access to. Switch it on. From here, find private album. Turn this feature on. Now, once that's done, go back. Now go to your photo where you want to hide it. So for example, these pictures here, I want to hide this picture. So you want to go ahead and select that picture, tap on more, and then here you can go ahead and tap on move to private album. So these items will move to private album. Now, to view that private album, you can go ahead and tap on menu and then tap on private album. Now this private album just won't open up. It'll basically require your pin or a fingerprint in order to view that items in the private album. So here I'll go ahead and use my fingerprint. And here, once I do this, you'll see all the pictures that have been transferred over to private albums. So this also works for video, not only for photos. So now you can move specific photos or videos into this album. It's hidden behind your pin or fingerprint. So only you can access it. So this is a great middle ground if you don't want to set up secure folder, but still want a quick way to hide certain folders. So family pictures, receipts, personal documents, all are kept private in just a couple of taps. The seventh thing which you should do is update battery protection settings. So battery health is one of the biggest concerns with modern smartphones. Over time, constantly charging to 100% can wear down your battery. However, Samsung's battery protection helps fix this. So in One UI 8, it's smarter than ever. So let me show you the new settings which one UI 8 has brought in. So if you go into settings, tap on battery, and here tap on battery protection. Turn the feature on, and here this is the new layout of the battery protection. So in One UI 7, you had basic, maximum, and adaptive. However, they have now minimized this to basic and maximum. Within basic, you have the adaptive protection. So basic stops charging at 100% and resumes at 95%, preventing overcharging, while Adapter learns your habit. For example, if you plug in your phone overnight, it'll only charge up to 80%, then finish charging 100%,
just before you wake up. So here, this is the best way to put it in. Tap on basic and make sure adaptive protection is switched on. So by using both modes, you get the best of both worlds, safe charging during the day and smart charging at the night. So this can significantly extend your battery lifespan so your phone holds a strong charge for years to come. The eighth thing which you should do is turn on call captions. So one of the most underrated features in One UI 8 is call captions. So when you enable it, your phone will show real-time captions of what other person is saying during a call. So this is useful if you're in a noisy environment, if you have difficulty hearing, or you just want an extra way to keep track of what is being said. So first you're gonna go ahead and tap on the phone app, then tap on the three dots, then tap on settings. Now here, find call captions, tap on this, and here you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on. And let me demonstrate this for you. So when you're on a call like this, you have this call caption button here, just here, at the top right. You can go ahead and tap on this, and this will now turn on call captions. So now whatever I say, it'll basically give me captions on that. Hello. Hello, how are you? I am fine, thank you. So this is like subtitles for your conversation. So you have a small change, but can make a big difference in clarity. And lastly, the ninth thing which you should do is set dynamic gradient wallpapers. So One UI 8 now introduces dynamic gradient wallpapers. So here you need to go ahead and open up your wallpaper settings. Let's go ahead and change the wallpaper for our lock screen. Tap on wallpaper, scroll down, and here you'll see dynamic in the color section. So you'll see these new dynamic options. So unlike like solid colors, these wallpapers slowly change the shade throughout the day, giving your phone a fresh look without you even noticing the transition. So here I'll go ahead and choose this and I'll tap on done. So here when I go ahead and lock my screen and when I wake it up each time, I'm getting a new gradient wallpaper each time. So let's go ahead and wake it up again. And as you can see, it's changing over time. So it's a subtle feature, but makes your home screen feel alive and modern. So it's a nice finishing touch after all the functional updates. And that's it. Those are the first things you should do after updating your Samsung S25 Ultra to One UI 8.0. So by clearing your cache, setting up the home up and enabling features like private album, call captions, and battery protection, you're not only keeping your phone running smoothly, but also making it more personal, private, and long lasting. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Simple Dad for more easy Galaxy tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.